Hello everyone out there, I am Winter Grape and this is one more episode of Life in the Woods, yeah! <laughs> well, um, what am I doing in Life in the Woods? Mm, I've been roaming around um, all over the place and, uh, and I've been uh, actually uh, thinking about doing um, something else with this series. Um, I don't know where to start. I I was like uh, this morning. I was I was at the office working, and um, I'm doing uh, a lot of things related actually with this uh, with this series or this gameplay. Um, I'm gonna try to explain that. And um, yeah, I, I was just thinking. And uh, well, you know how this is. Lots of things and ideas come to my head of. Uh, what to say about uh, of what to talk about because because on this episode I'm gonna talk about something I'm not actually I'm not actually going to do something uh, here uh, there is stuff uh, I left pending to do uh, and yeah there's there's some things that can be done but right now I guess this is going to be just a short episode to talk about. What am I uh, doing, and what do I want to do with this? Uh, and I had all these uh, ideas of uh, how to how to begin talking, but right now, as usually, I go a little blank, and um, I have to yes think about uh, this again. Well, yeah, okay. Let let me try to to go for um, okay. Let me just try to explain. I like this mod pack. I like it a lot. It, it is the kind of uh, oh, there's another chip there. Uh, it is the kind of uh, of stuff uh, I I I like. I mean, uh, I like the th the fact that uh, you can explore um, on this or because I oh, <laughs> I just froze. I love how this terrain generates with palms of plenty, um, and I love all the things you can find on this uh, overworld here, and uh, and I I really also uh, in addition to that I also enjoy building with the carpenters blocks and all, all the new things that I I can do, but I've been feeling like I need something else. On this because this is Minecraft 1.6 currently life in the woods it's only available on 1.6 and I really wanted to have something uh, upgraded to 1.7 uh, and uh, 1.7 the 10 so I first started looking about uh, looking around and uh, researching that uh, if this mod pack was going to be ported to 1.7 and there is absolutely no information about that. Uh, this mod pack was put together by Fedran. Actually, I'm gonna tell you, uh, I'm really enjoying watching uh, Fedran's uh, um, let's play. She's currently doing a, a let's play on Skyblock with uh, a video Zen, and uh, I'm enjoying watching that. Uh, and uh, she does a lot of other things, of course. Uh, uh, she put together this, this mod pack, and uh, there's nothing on uh, on her website and uh, on her on whatever she says that uh, that gives me some uh, inf well um, to let me know that this uh, mod pack th that is amazing is going to be ported to 1.7. And why do I want it in 1.7? Well. Just because I do want it, <laughs> I, I I just feel it. I, I I don't know. It's it's something that 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 I uh, that I feel. So, well, yes, I started uh, working myself on on putting together all the mods that are available uh, on this mod pack on a 1.7 instance. Um, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm sorry if I'm just running around and talking. Um, but is that is just the purpose of this episode? Uh, I, I I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do. I may continue, I may continue playing on this on this world, 
this is a server and this is uh, this is a server that has been running it occasionally it stops for some reason but I just started again so uh, there's a um, uh, this it has it has been online for um, for quite a long time and I'm not planning to, to shut it down but I must but I might uh, plan to upgrade it and that means the world it's going to be reset um, could be or maybe I just continue with this 1.6 version uh, some while ago I, I'm still not sure about that but uh, what I have what I have been doing is uh, I have been um, getting the mods on the upgraded versions for 1.7. Uh, I installed an instance of an instance of Forge uh, 1.7 uh, 10, and um, so far I have successfully um, collected all the mods, but but one or maybe two. Okay, o only one. I, there is only one mod that I I couldn't uh, port, that I couldn't find an updated version, and uh, and, and it is one of the one one of the mods that I really love about this this pack, and that is the better archery more mod. Uh, you can see I'm holding a longbow and I have a quiver in my inventory. Here's the quiver and I, this is the longbow. And you can see at the top of my screen that I have uh, some er sets of arrows. I have two stacks of 16 of uh, normal arrows and a, po and a poison and a weakness arrow. And uh, that, that is a really cool... Look, look how... Look at this. It looks amazing. And yeah, I really enjoy this. And um, I really don't want to go to a, to a mod pack to a version of this mod pack that doesn't have this mod. This mod is amazing and uh, that is one of the reasons that keep, keeps me from um, going. And the thing is that this mod is not going to be ported to, to 1.7. Uh, the mod developer has, has said that uh, he'd ha he has stopped support for the mod. And um, the, the only way that this is going to be ported to 1.7 is that someone else uh, does it because the original um, uh, developer is not gonna be uh, doing it and another one another mod that is not gonna be ported to one well uh, at least not so far is, is it is ported is the animated player look at me this this is amazing well actually the animated player is not uh, a mod included in, in the in the uh, in the life in the woods mod pack it is a client side mode. I can install it without the need of uh, being installed on the server. On the server, but I enjoy this one. I enjoy all the mobs, uh, all the mobs uh, available uh, with the animated players. Uh, uh, how this, uh, how the, how it works, and all that. And uh, that is actually not a, a very much important mod. If that is not going to be there, I don't care. But the better actually is is one that I really want. Uh, and um, yeah okay so here's what I'm doing because of that I have already successfully put together all the other mods on a 1 point on a 1.7 uh, version uh, I played around with the configurations and uh, I could leave everything how I like it uh, I could say I, ha I have a mod pack that includes everything but that but then I started thinking and uh, I'm started, I, I'm st I started feeling, not just thinking, that okay, I'm just putting together a set, a set of mods and um, I, could, I could do something else, not just copy the Life in the Woods uh, mod pack, but, but do some upgrades and do something else to, to a completely new mod pack. Uh, and uh, well, that started itching me, and uh, I know myself. And uh, if something <laughs> just calls my attention, I can't stop. I just do it, uh, and I and I don't stop. Uh, I just uh, keep uh, uh, working on that. And uh, it occurred to me that instead of porting Life in the Woods to 1.7, I 
I would make a completely new mod pack. Um, well, it's going. It 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 is going to be inspired by Life in the Woods, but it's going to be a. Um, I could say maybe just another name, but uh, I like the fact that you have you can explore and travel and uh, discover new things, use uh, materials, uh, survive. Uh, uh, one I w I must mention one thing. Uh, I don't like very much the the hungry version of the mod pack because it is abs well it is not absolutely it is it is just. Uh, um, a little more it is just uh, too difficult to survive and uh, you mm, you have to uh, you have to play with the uh, um, surviving takes a lot of time that it doesn't let any, any more time to do anything else like like uh, um, building or uh, I don't know you have to we really, really, really work hard on focusing on just collecting resources to eat and survive, and uh, that wouldn't leave a space for building. That is why I like the the standard version of the mod pack, not the hungry version, and uh, and that is the same thing I I want to to take to this new mod pack I'm doing. So uh, I want to foc focus this mod pack on on exploring, traveling, and s and making settlements uh, like uh, uh, like towns, cities, connected connecting them, uh, being able to travel overworld to to all these pla places. I love tra I love traveling. Uh, I love going on the highway or taking uh, I don't know could be a train or or going by ships, sailing. I love s uh, sailing, at least on games, because I don't sail that much on real life. Um, but uh, uh, yes, I love that. And uh, and um, the reason I'm, I'm saying saying this is because on this new uh, collection of mods I'm doing, I, additionally to the mods that you have here on Life in the Woods, I am adding mods like uh, Archimedes ships. And um, and a few other mods that uh, are th are oriented to that to make uh, transport. Uh, Archimedes ships is a mod that allows you to build something, uh, a structure, and convert it into a ship that you can use it to sail on water or to fly. And, and that is really important for to the goal I'm trying to achieve with this new mod pack. Um, and yes, I, I've been adding more mods to that, uh, and I've been testing this, and and I am actually going to show you that in a while. I'm just, um, I'm just gonna um, continue explaining the the last part of all this I am doing here. Um, I'm just gonna say, I, I actually, I love bibliocraft, and I, I also half bibliocraft on 1.7 that that is this is one of those other cool mods that allows you to do a lot of things um like this chair and table and uh, there was another item down there um okay these bookshelves are are also uh, bibliocraft stuff and uh, it is really cool okay so the only thing that keeps me that was keeping me is the, is the better archery uh, mod because I really love that one. So what did I do with that? Well, I'm st I started coding a mod. Uh, I started coding a mod that uh, would be a replacement for the better archery mod. I I'm gonna take a lot of ideas from this mod uh, since this mod is not going to be updated anymore. Uh, I'm just gonna gonna be taking some of the, some ideas of how this works, and uh, I'm doing something inspired by it by it, um, and uh, adding some more things. Uh, I mean the the archery aspect of that mod is just going to be one part of it, 
but I'm gonna add more things uh, that are going to be focused or are going to be in the way to 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 help you explore the war and I guess I'm calling that mod the world explorer that's going to be the name of uh, my mod I'm coding that uh, I'm being spending lots of days uh, well days maybe yes days uh, it has been lots of hours uh, sometimes uh, um, I, I have I had planned to record uh, something or play something but instead of that I just spend a lot of time in the night coding while watching some stream or, or something um, but yes um, I'm doing a lot of code tests and now finally I have started what is not a test anymore is is the actual mod yes I, ha I have been coding a lot of tests uh, I, ha I have been uh, writing some uh, parts from examples and uh, uh, and all that and now I have the necessary uh, knowledge uh, to do that so uh, I'm working on that and um, that's gonna be something real um, so I guess um, I'm trying to make this uh, into uh, into a new mod pack and it's going to include a new mod I'm coding so that that's I guess uh, what, what, in, what I needed to say so now uh, in order to to continue I'm gonna switch to the instance where I'm putting all these mods together just to 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 give you a look of what I'm doing uh, and um, uh, my mod it is still not there because I haven't uh, put it to, I haven't compiled it in a state that it's gonna work so it is not there but uh, it's gonna be soon uh, and I'm gonna be testing that uh, and playing uh, so yeah so let's go there uh, how do I do this okay I'm gonna try it so let's go there wow so <laughs> we made the transition and we are here uh, okay so this is it we are on it this is uh, this is this is life from the woods <laughs> yeah uh, I, I'm still not sure about a name for that but uh, yeah so we are here, we have uh, some uh, collection of mods, I, I just made this uh, house here because I'm testing this, this is a test world, I am really really far from spawn because I have traveled a lot exploring, this is not a server anymore, this is a, a single player, but uh, it could be a server just to test it, uh, oh that's looks, that looks amazing, look at that huge tree there! Um, okay so yeah, this is uh, the, that... Um, this is the the mod pack I'm working on. Um, oh, the water looks so cool. I, I have some shaders installed. It is a um, it is not a, a a high a high resource version of shaders. It, it is a small. It it doesn't uh, consume all that those resources. But yes, it drops the frame rates uh, a little. So uh, I'm just gonna refresh to that. Yeah you can see how it drops the frames but that's not important right now that's something that can be fixed and the shaders can be dropped I'm just using them because I, I wanted to test how this uh, will look with the with those on so additionally to, to all the mods that um, are present in life in the woods uh, there are some other mods let me just drop here I'm just trying to collect some feathers no you can see I'm in a, a one by two hole but I can go out because we have smart moving yeah smart moving is a mod that allows you to do some additional movements uh, with your player like uh, climbing by pressing uh, some special key you can climb um, and um, you can actually crawl let's see if this is visible you have to sneak and press the crawl oh there we go now we are crawling yeah and uh, I like I like this mod because it's, it's, it's a mod that could help you in the exploring 
uh, because you can crawl, you can uh, you can uh, mm, hang from walls that that can be hanged from, like uh, like iron bars or something. And there are a lot of uh, cool things you can do with smart movement. And uh, there's something weird when you run. You, you can see those energy. You cannot jump until they. I don't know. There's something. Um, there's something I have to to investigate there, but uh, that is how it works. Um, I have set the world to permanent day, so there is no night for now because I I set it tonight when I want to test some stuff. Um, I tried to install. Um, I tried playing with uh, with more creatures installed, but it it was just a mess. I didn't like it, so I removed it. Uh, more creatures is not going to be part of this. Uh, it, is, it is just too messy for that. Uh, you can see we have all the crops we had in the life in the woods. Uh, the, that is uh, provided by um, a harvest craft, and uh, yes, th they are present. Um, uh, uh, additional to the better movement, I added uh, Archimedes ships. I don't have any Archimedes stuff to to try. Let me just take the shaders off. Um, there we go, much better. <laughs> yes, that that was just a test. I wasn't planning to leave the shaders. Uh, I I was just seeing how this works with the shaders, but no, I didn't like it. Uh, well, it looks good, but uh, I don't like the performance. Um, so there's uh, instead of better grass, we have better foliage. I guess I guess it is another mod. In Life in the Woods, we had the better grass, but there is no better grass for 1.7. So there is a mod called Better Foliage that seems to do the same, but it seems that it is it is not the same mod. Um, we have um, smart moving, and uh, we have underground biomes constructs. I'm reading here. Yeah, underground biomes construct is a mod that adds some some materials um, at certain levels uh, underground. I guess it is um, it is present on Life in the Woods, but it it works. It, it is not the same name. It is, it has another name. Oh, I just I guess I did something wrong with the smart movement because it doesn't want to jump. Um, yeah, uh, I remember that I I set smart movement too hard, but. Uh, I'm gonna revert that. This is poison water. This is part of Biomes of Plenty. Uh, and I love Biomes of Plenty in 1.7. I loved it in 1.6. And I'm loving it even more in 1.7. Biomes of Plenty is a really, really cool mod. Uh, at least for me. Um, so, yeah. I guess that is that is all I have um, added. And. Um, all I have played with the configuration, I guess. Uh, this this crafting table is from Bibliocraft. Uh, it is really cool. Uh, so I, I don't know. And one more thing: these hangers you can do. I don't know. Uh, I guess I can hang some uh, um, flowers from here, but I I still don't know how to craft them. We have the crafting guide. If you press G, uh, we have the same crafting guide as in Life in the Woods. I I kept this one because I really like the system of this crafting guide, so I'm I'm gonna keep it. Um, so that's gonna be all, uh, and um, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. And I hope it wasn't really boring. It wasn't for me uh, because <laughs> I'm really enjoying on this what I'm doing, uh, and uh, as long as I am enjoying it, I guess I guess it's uh, it's uh, okay. So, uh, thank you for watching and uh, I hope to see you in the next episode. Goodbye everyone. May you all be well. Oh, that was wrong. <laughs> Goodbye.